At the start of the film, we witness a woman hitting rock bottom, crawling. Perhaps as a sign of her advancing years, her body has grown weaker, to the point where she can't get back up. Later, she ties one end of a rope to a table, and tosses the other end out the window. It seems like she hates this apartment a lot, and wanted to go out of this apartment at any cost, even if she needs to use a window for this task. Despite her old age and weakness, she dares, and after coming out of the window somehow, she holds the rope. She held the rope firmly but as she tries to climb down. Then suddenly, her hands and feet slip. As a result, she slowly falls down. Seeing her, it seems as if she will die after falling down. Meanwhile, her feet stuck with the rope, and she has a narrow escape from falling to the ground. Because she was quite near to the ground, so she tries to get out of there on her own but she can't. Because the rope again begins to pull her inside. During that time, her artificial teeth fall down. The rope brings her into the apartment after pulling her. And he closes the window but we can't see him. It may be an invisible power. Later, a woman named Anna, who is about 25 years old, is shown. She comes to this apartment for living on the rent. The manager of the building and the previous tenant welcome her. Seeing this tenant, we can understand that she is the same old lady, who we saw before. Then she begins to watch the house that she likes a lot. Later, when the manager tells her the little amount of rent, she becomes excited a lot. She thinks that it is really good to have a cheap and comfortable apartment. For living in the apartment, Anna is given the agreement papers to sign. Before signing, she asks the old lady why you want to leave the apartment. The old lady remains silent for a while, and says, actually, I'm going from here because I want to travel the world. Anna feels quite strange to hear about her statement about traveling the world. She thinks, wow, the women of her age are dying and resting at their homes, and she wants to travel the world. Later, Anna begins to tell them about herself. I'm new in this city, and I came with my friend, but we fought and that's why I've come here. As she was telling them about her, the old lady was getting worried. Because she isn't signing the papers and wasting the time. She asks Anna if she has to take this apartment or not. Or just come here to talk, and Anna says, why not, I need this apartment. Later, when she gives her the agreement papers, and she begins to sign, the pen didn't work but the old lady gives her the pen. She appeared to be rushing through the process of renting out this apartment. As they made the deal, Anna takes this apartment for rent. The old lady goes from there after packing her luggage. While giving Anna the apartment keys, the manager tells her, don't worry and if you need any help, call me, and I'll come. He also goes after saying this, and later Anna begins to clean the house. After arranging her luggage, Anna begins to paint the walls. Because the walls were looking quite dirty and old. There was a lot of mess and dust in the apartment. She throws out all the extra luggage, and later begins to clean the dust with the help of a cloth. Later, she throws that cloth out as well. As she returns after throwing the dust out, she sees an astonishing thing, the dust she cleans earlier has returned again there. Not only this, but the painting she pasted wasn't there that became old. More dust has gathered there than there was previously. Even the fresh fruits she kept there have also gone rotten. The cloth has also come back that she threw out after the dusting. Seeing this, she feels strange and even she was quite afraid. However, she remains relatively indifferent to it, and starts to clean this place again. Every time she cleans this place, it becomes old and messy again. The most shocking thing was that she was just 25 years old, that she has dark circles under her eyes and wrinkles on her face. That is mostly the old age people have. Later, she sleeps on the sofa after being tired. At night, the radio begins to start automatically. Anna wakes up and she turns it off after waking up. She looks at her face and it has quite changed. She looks older than her age. Things become out of her understanding. It means that the turning of the house into the dirt and that she appeared older, and the change, and she directly goes to the manager after being angry. And tells him, what you did with me. You've given me that strange and ghostly apartment. That is quite strange and there is surely something there. Any spirit or ghost there that makes things dirty again. Look, it has made my face damaged, and put dark circles under my eyes and wrinkles. Although I'm not aged enough as I'm looking. That's why give me my advance money back. Hearing this, the manager tells her, no I can't give you the advance money. It isn't possible, and saying this, he shows the agreement papers to Anna. He tells her, look, it is clearly written on it, that the old tenant can't leave the house until the new tenant comes. It was written with small fonts that Anna can't see it with her naked eyes. She uses a hand glass to see it. With its help, we usually see small objects as larger. Anna goes crazy after hearing this, she becomes angry enough that she threatens the manager about the police. Hearing this, he sits calmly as if he doesn't bother this, he only tells her to go back to her apartment. Because you can't go anywhere, it is written on the agreement. And she goes, later, Anna goes to a clinic for medical treatment. 
and asks for her reports so she can report to the police about the manager, and also about the apartment, and the doctor after seeing her, tells her, that it isn't a small thing to have gray hair and wrinkles on the face at the age of 25. This is a big deal but it has nothing to do with the police reports. Hearing this, Anna replies to her angrily, don't tell me what to do, I'll do what I'll find right. Saying this, she brings her ID card out, but unfortunately, there was nothing on it. Because everything was erased from there. Anna was fed up with that apartment, so she doesn't want to go there. She goes to a hotel for spending the night and the receptionist asks her for her ID card. We know that she has not because it has been removed. So she has to pay more money for it. At night, when she was sleeping she suddenly woke up. She couldn't rouse herself and felt rather feeble. Then a shocking thing is revealed, she has become an old lady who is about 80 years old. She has wrinkles on her face and feet. Obviously, she turns old and after coming into the washroom, she begins to cough, suddenly, her teeth break and fall. The next day, Anna goes to that apartment and meets the manager, seeing her in such a condition, the manager doesn't get worried but he tells her, that you've to take care of all the rules, in which it was clearly written that you can't go out. Now, it is revealed that whoever signs on Tay agreement, if anyone tries to go out, their age grows older, and they remain the same until they die. Later, the manger tells her that this apartment is quite strange and unique, it doesn't like to live alone. It always wants someone to live with, so a tenant is always needed to stay there. After talking to the manager, Anna goes to her apartment. The same ghostly room. After a while, the manager realizes that his matchbox is missing, and he thinks that Anna might have taken it. So, he rushes toward her apartment, and sees that her room is locked from the inside. Now, we see Anna throwing wine everywhere to fire her room. She lights the matchstick, but unfortunately, it doesn't burn. When Anna lights the matchstick and throws it, it doesn't catch fire. By this action of her, the apartment becomes furious. To punish her, it begins to suffocate her, and after putting the cloth into her mouth, it begins to suffocate her. She was suffocating and falls down, and she was eager to get some fresh air. Later, the manager somehow comes inside, and saves her life after putting the cloth out of her mouth. She was breathing her last, and the strange thing was that, that this was the same cloth from Anna used to clean the dust. After a while, when she became normal, the manager gives her water, and tells her everything about the apartment. He tells her that this is quite an old apartment. Since then someone is living in this apartment. There is something strange in this apartment like a spirit or a ghost. That does this all. One day, some girls came to live here. But after some days, they grew old as you've become. This news was broadcasted and spread everywhere. Then a man felt that there is a spirit or ghost, that's why he tried to perform magic there. But he wasn't successful in his plan and he died terribly. It means whatever is there in this apartment is quite dangerous. It doesn't like any kind of a mess here. For this reason, the government has also stopped thinking about this department. And kept it a secret and the police are also afraid to come here. They don't take any action against it, and when the manager was going, he advises her that if you want to get rid of this apartment, you have to find a tenant because this is the only way you have, and you can go out. Otherwise, you can't go out of it. Next, we see, Anna goes to her friend for help after getting ready. Obviously, she grew old and he couldn't recognize her. She tries to tell him, I'm Anna, recognize me. He thinks that the old lady wants to say that she is Anna's grandmother or granny. Meanwhile, her friend's wife comes there, because he got married and she came to pick him up. Now, she learns that both of them are finding a rented apartment to live although it was a good chance for her to give this apartment to them to get rid of it. But she doesn't say anything and lets them go from there. At night, when Anna was sleeping, the radio begins to turn on, many things there begin to turn on. It seems like this apartment wants to help and befriend her, like it makes a meal and tea for her, and when she wakes up, the meal was ready in front of her. But she doesn't eat it and throws it away, she sees the tea there but she has no idea that this apartment has made it. She decides to take it, and she puts the tea into the cup slowly, and begins to take it, and she really likes the tea. She takes the biscuit that she threw near the dustbin, and begins to eat it. The poor Anna was quite weak and fragile, that she needed to use a stick to walk. After seeing her condition, she seemed like an old lady of 100 years. When she looks at her hand, she feels like something is walking on it. She begins to peel her skin to check what is there inside. She becomes shocked to see that her skin is easily peeling off. She sees a strange wire-like thing inside her arm. She understands that the time has come for her to leave the world. It means her death time, and she calls the manager to her. In the next scene, we see a couple coming to see this apartment. This couple was no one else but Anna's friend and his wife. Just like the other people, they become happy to see the less rent and the furniture. They really like that no one lives around them. That's why they immediately get ready to sign on the agreement.
Anna's friend was about to sign the agreement, then Anna begins to look at the things around her. Suddenly, she begins to see the time, when she came there which means when she was trapped. After a while, she feels her pain. How I'm passing through these all circumstances. She doesn't want this to happen to anyone that happened to her. That's why she throws hot tea on his hand to stop her friend. Later, she puts him aside from this agreement. She warns him after screaming, go away from here and never come back here. They go from there without saying anything. Obviously, they've gone, and it means Anna has lost her last chance to go from there. Although if she wanted, she could trap her friend to take revenge from him. She might also spend her final years outside but she didn't do this. Because she still has love and humanity for her friend in her heart. She hasn't shown selfishness but saved her friend. By doing this, she has sacrificed her life. She wanted to end this wrecked apartment by any means. The manager becomes shocked after seeing this. When the manager was about to go from there, Anna tells her, give me a favor to lock the door while going. And don't return for many years. Because I'll try to end this apartment. Because she also believed that if nobody comes there, the cycle of this apartment of killing people will be ended. It means neither the people will grow old nor they'll die. And if there is any kind of curse, it will also break. And any kind of spirit and ghost in this apartment will also die. The manager praises her for this bravery and goes after saying her goodbye. After his departure, we see Anna alone in this apartment. Neither anyone will come to meet her nor she has enough power, that she can go downstairs, and after seeing her condition, it seemed as if her death time has come. That's why after going to the window, she begins to feel the fresh air, she now feels relaxed, which is what she had been longing for. The trouble she was passing through was about to end today, because she had accepted her destiny. Later, after sitting calmly on the sofa, she tells this apartment, to stop this all, and leave it. Later, her eyes are closed and she puts her head on the sofa. It seemed that this sofa would be her last rest, it means she would end up here. The sofa gradually swallows her head, and she became its part now. Then she gradually sink into the couch. She was completely engrossed in it, and finally only her dress was left. Later, Anna's heart materializes like a string, and merges seamlessly with the couch cushion. Her head also gets enveloped in a white cloth on the couch. Now, we learn how this apartment traps its inhabitants to renovate itself. And the movie ends on this note. Thanks for watching.